this is the second video in a two-part series where we talk about how to batch your social media content for your business. And I will put the link to our first video in this series right up here. In that video, we talk about why you want to batch your content and how to exactly do that, how to plan it out, how to schedule it. But in today's video, we're really going to focus more on Canva, how to use Canva to create things for your business. Now, because this is in this social media series, I'm going to be creating a social media post on Canva, but I'm gonna be covering all the basics of Canva and the things that I use to create the social media posts, you can definitely use to create other things for your business, whether that's labels or business cards or you know banners for your social media platforms or maybe even a YouTube thumbnail. By the time you're done with this video, you will have all the basics and all the things that you need to know about Canva to create whatever it is that you want to make for your business. So we're gonna head over to my laptop so you can see how Canva works. Okay, so let's head over to Canva. You can find Canva at canva.com. Now you're going to need to set up an account using your email. This right here is Canva's free version. Canva has a free version and also a pro version. With the pro version, you get some extra fonts, some extra elements and pictures, some extra branding tools, and they also have a better system if you're working with a team or an assistant and you're needing to share your projects with them, they have a little better system for that. But for most people, the free version is going to be perfect for what they need. I did upgrade just recently to the pro version just because I'm creating a logo and I needed some extra fonts. Um, so I will show you that here, but for the most part, I really recommend you start out with the free version. The pro version is $12.99 a month if you pay per month. It's $9.95 a month if you pay for a year at a time. I just wanna hop over to my account for just a minute to show you something. This has nothing to do with it being a pro version. This looks exactly the same on the free version. But one thing that I really love about Canva is it will save your past projects. This comes in really handy if you're making something like your social media posts, or maybe you have a YouTube, you wanna make a YouTube template Maybe you want to make some social, some social media banners. Maybe you want to do different Facebook covers for if you do parties, you can have the same template and just switch it up, you know, switch the pictures out or switch the wording out. It makes it really convenient because you can go in and design one graphic that you can use again and again by just switching out the wording or the pictures or moving things around a little bit, but you don't have to go in and create a whole new design. So for this video, we're talking about social media batching. This is a great example of one of my designs that I use when I batch my social media content. I can go in when I'm ready to batch my next content and just take this quote out, put in a new quote or put in different wording. I can move these elements around if I need to. And one thing that I really recommend is that you have five to six different designs. You really wanna switch it out. You don't wanna use the exact same design every single time, but you do wanna be consistent in your colors and in some of your elements. So for instance, I have this watercolor kind of splotch. I also use a splotch here. You'll see throughout my posts, I use gold, I use arrows. Um, so being really consistent with your colors, but also switching it out is going to make you look very professional. And I'm gonna get into colors here in a minute. I also have, let's see if I can find it, I have like a solid pink, which matches my other um, pinks. Um, so you can do that as well. Just remember to switch it out. You know, you'll see like on Instagram where they'll do a quote and then a picture and then a quote. You really wanna have a variety of different posts that you can make, but five to six should be plenty for you for your content batching. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Let's head back to the free version and let's create a design. So you can click on this button up here and it will pop down all the different things you can make with Canva. You can make business cards, you can make labels, you can make brochures, you can make social media graphics, you can make covers for your different social media platforms. Instead of clicking, these are gonna be your blank canvases. You can also click the templates here. If you really like these and they fit with your brand, you could just click one of these um, and you know change the wording or whatever. But I usually start with a blank canvas 
Okay, so let's go over the basics of Canva. Let's start on this side and go over these buttons over here. These are again those templates. If you want to use a template, you can and you can move these things around. You can, you know, obviously change up the wording. You can even change the colors. Um, but again, we're going to have a blank canvas here. I just wanted to show you that if you wanted to use that. Next is photos. This is going to be your pictures that you can use. Now, any of these pictures that have a crown on them, those are going to be the pro version that you have to pay for. Now, one tip about the pro version versus the free version, if you find a picture that you really love and you really want to use, but it is a pro picture, you can purchase that picture individually. Instead of having to upgrade to the pro version, you can just purchase that one picture. So any of these pictures that have crowns on them, you would have to pay for. These other ones are free. If you don't find what you're looking for here under photos, you can go down to more and you can use one of these to find your picture. They also have free pictures available. I will get my photos on pixels almost as often as I get my photos right directly from Canva. So that's just another option for you. Let's go to elements. This is going to be your shapes, your lines, your arrows, anything that's drawn versus, you know, being a picture. I do want to show you this real quick. These here with the clouds, um, I want to show you this is a really cool tool. If you want to use a graphic or a picture or, you know, maybe it's a nail fee that you've taken. If you want to use one of your own photos, you can put this in here and you can size it however you like. And then you would need to upload, which is right here. You would click on the upload button and you would upload an image from your computer. And that, then you could just drag that once it's uploaded. I'm not going to do that here today because it takes a minute. But you can just drag that picture then over onto this box here and it will upload it directly into that box. So this is a great way to add your own pictures and elements that you want to put on your social media graphic. I just want to show you that real quick. Let me get rid of him though. This is going to be your text. You can use the combinations they already created for you here. I usually will just click on subheading and add a text that way. Music and video, I do not use those because I use a different program for creating my videos. So I really don't have much experience with either of those but you can definitely check those out. Next is background. This is going to be for if you're looking for a specific textured background. Now I will say that it's best to use a background that's really clean and simple so that your words really stand out. If you use a dark um, background like this one and then would write words on it, it might be really hard to see, but I wanna show you a little trick here. If let's say your colors are these colors, your brand colors are these bright and deep colors and you want to use these. One trick is, um, if you would put words right on here, they would get kind of lost in all these colors. But one trick you can do is to go over to Elements and grab a box. Let's turn that box white. And you can see you could easily put your words in here then. You would still be using your brand colors, but people would also be able to really easily read what you have to say. So that's backgrounds. Oh, let me delete these again. Uploads is again where you upload your own pictures. Folders. You have these two folders available in the free version. I have not actually used these much, but these are just a way for you to organize um, your graphics and your elements and things that you've purchased or things that you really like to use. The more again, we went over that has some other things that you can check out. So that is all those buttons. Let's go through and quickly make a social media post. Let's do a quick photo one and then we'll do an elements one and talk a little bit more about branding. So let's just do a photos one real quick. So let's say you're going to do some sort of post. Let's just grab this one. Almost all of Canva's elements can just be dragged and sized to fit your post. You can also double click it and it will show you your, your, the size of the picture. You can crop it from there and you can also size it from there. So 
whoops, that cropped it, didn't it? Okay, well, that's okay, because I'm going to still size it. Okay, so let's say that's what you want to use. And I wouldn't necessarily use this picture, but for the sake of this, we're just going to grab stuff. Okay, and then we want to put some wording up here. And obviously, again, this is still kind of dark colors and it's going to be a little bit hard to see the lettering. So we're going to add a box. Size it to fit what we're looking for. It's not going to be perfect, but that's good enough. <laughs> Let's change it to white. Now, I want to show you this other tool that I love. This white on this picture looks a little bit too stark to me. So one thing you can do is click on that and go over to this button up here. So we're just going to bring that transparency down. And that's going to look more natural for this picture to put some lettering on. Another cool thing is you can do that with the photos. So let's click on this photo. It's a little bit stark. It's a little bit bright. If we want to soften it up a little bit, we can click on the transparency and we can just turn it down a little bit. You can see that kind of makes it more misty looking. So that's just another thing that you can do. I really love this tool with Canva. So let's add some text. Let's add a subheading. Let's change this to join my team and again I wouldn't necessarily use this kind of graphic or this wording this is just for explanation purposes um, so those are your that's your lettering up here you can see you can change the font again anything with the crown is going to be something that's only in the pro version but you can see here there are so many free fonts available you can probably find just about anything that you really need unless you're creating a logo or something that needs a specific font you can you should be able to get the look or the feel that you're going for just using the free fonts so that is just changing the font there if you want to change the size you can change it there there's a color obviously you know what these all mean one cool thing is the spacing button. I do want to show you this real quick. If you feel like things are not quite lining up as well as you would like, or you feel like, you know, you just need more space or whatever, you can space your letters out. If you have multiple lines, you can space the lines out. I will very often use these just to make it fit right in my box. Um, so that's another cool tool. So that's just one quick way to use a photo. I want to show you how to make something with Okay, let's just leave that text there. And we're gonna add some elements. Now, one thing I wanna talk about real quick is a little bit about branding. Obviously, that's a topic for a much different video, but I do wanna talk about it just a minute because that does go into how you design your graphics. So obviously, when we talk about branding, we talk a lot about colors. We talk about some elements, like you might have different shapes, like triangles or arrows or maybe even something like pizza or ice cream that is part of your brand. But creating a brand is really much more about knowing your audience and knowing yourself. You know, we like to talk a lot about colors and those fun aspects to our brand, but it really comes down more to who your audience is and who you are. That's going to be more the core of your personal brand. So as you're thinking about creating your graphics, you're obviously going to be thinking about some similar elements and similar colors. You really want to be as consistent as you can. It's going to be okay if later on you need to change those. Maybe later on you will actually get branding coaching. You'll actually pay for someone to help you work through your branding. You decide you need to change your colors. That's going to be fine. But for now, I really recommend that you do think through on your own what your brand colors are, what are maybe some elements that you want to have in all your branding across the board. So as you're thinking through your colors, I really want you to think a lot about who you are as a person. If you had to pick three colors that really described who you were as a person, what would those three colors be? You know, are you bright, sunshiny, 
bubbly person. Maybe you have yellows or neons in your, in your branding. Are you someone that really enjoys nature? Maybe you're going to have more greens and more neutrals. Are you someone that is very professional? Maybe you're going to have more like blacks and silvers and golds. I want you to really think about who you are as a person. And also our tendencies can be, and I fell into this myself, to try to picture who I want to be. And while that's a good thing to look ahead, you really need to understand who you are at your core. You can't try to be someone that you're not. You know, if you're not a really bright, bubbly type of person, don't go copying somebody that is that way. Don't, be, don't go copying their type of branding and their type of colors. Really think about who you are as a person. And that's gonna really help you define your colors. You know, you're gonna have to spend some time thinking through this. And the other thing you're going to really want to think about is who your audience is. Really get to know your audience. So like for me, I love all things business. I could have gone the direction of having more of those blacks and those golds and those silvers type of branding, but my audience is completely women. I am all about women empowerment, you know, helping other moms to be successful in business. So I allowed my colors in my brand to really reflect that. My branding is going to come across very feminine and that is who I am as a person as well. So I don't want you to go out and create something that's only for your audience. But honestly, if you get really clear about who you are as a person, that is actually probably a lot of who your audience is as well. You're going to really attract who you are. You're going to attract your tribe. And the more that you understand yourself and who your preferred audience is, you're probably going to see a lot of similarities. And if you are really, really clear on both of those, you're probably going to see a lot of consistency with your colors and with your elements. So that is just something to really think through as you are thinking about creating these graphics and really establishing your personal brand. Again, you might change this again later in the future, um, but for now you can really accomplish a lot and really establish your brand without needing a brand professional, especially when it comes to social media batching. So I just wanna show you here how you can work on finding your colors using Canva. So go up here to this color button. Now let's say one of the colors you've decided for your brand is a teal color. You can go to this teal color here and click that. Now you might think that this is way too bright and way too dark of a color. You can click up here on this box and you will see all the varieties of teal. You can go through here and find all the shades of teal. Now, once you find a shade that you absolutely love, I would write down this number down here. This is going to be your number of your color. So I would go ahead and write that number down. That is now one of your brand colors. And if you go to make another post, you can choose this exact color in whatever element you know, you're changing the color to. So that is a really great way to help you to stay consistent with your colors. I recommend that you have about five to six colors in your brand. Um, you don't have to have that many, but I do recommend that you switch things up. So I do recommend at least four colors that are complementary, And also you can do where they are just a little bit different shade of the same color. So maybe you have posts that are this color teal and also like a light, really light teal. So just make sure that they go together. Don't have like a teal and then, you know, a bright red or something that doesn't fit at all. You really want to keep them very consistent. And even if you do maybe have a post with this light teal, you might want to put an element in that is this darker teal just to keep things really, really consistent. But I would go through and pick about five to six colors and make note of this number, make note of the number of all five to six colors. That way you have those as your brand colors and you can keep those consistent in every post that you make. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how you can do some different things with the elements real quick. Um, let's just grab this guy here. Now you can see a lot of times in the elements, they will let you pick your colors. So again, you could go through here, you could pick your teal. Well, that's not gonna look right on there. Um, you could pick for this purple, you could switch it out for a, the, a brighter teal. 
Maybe one of your colors is going to be, what's this pink color here? Oh, did I, I downloaded it twice. I clicked it twice. <laughs> Maybe you have a gray in one of your colors. We'll switch that out for this one so you can see it better. Maybe gray is one of your complementary colors. So you can really do so much with Canva in matching your, in matching your brand. Most of these elements, you can change the colors. And even in the photos, let's just grab this one real quick. Even in the photos, you can adjust the coloring and, and you can filter it. So, you know, if you wanted something a little more bright and tealish, you could do that. If you want to tone the saturation down, you could do that. You can really switch even the photos up quite a bit to still really feel like your brand. Okay, so I just want to show you one more tool. You can see when we put this photo on here, it covered up our design element back here. So what you want to do is click on that element and go up here to position and bring it forward. This is a very convenient tool, especially if you're putting something underneath lettering, but you want it over top of another um, element. So I just want to make sure that you knew about that there as well. So let's say that you are happy with this picture. Obviously it's not perfect. Then you'll go over here to download and click on that. Um, this is going to be the title of your graphic. So if you want to change that, go ahead and change that. When I do my content batching, I will usually title it with the date. That way I can easily find it when I'm ready to post it. Then you just click on download. And you can download as a ping or as a JPEG. And then you can just click download. It will download directly to your desktop. It'll probably be in your download files. But again, you can also find it by looking up the title of your graphic. So I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you have all kinds of ideas now of things that you want to create for your business. If you want to see that first video in this series, I will link that right up here. If you want to learn more on how to set up your Facebook profile for success for your business, I will link that video right down here. Please hit that subscribe button. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all in the next video.